Good morning. Good morning. Hey, everybody. Hey, Marion. What's going on? It's June the 1st. It's my birthday month. All right, guys. If you'll come in, go ahead and swipe and invite. Invite your followers. I literally have five minutes. I'm not playing with y'all today. <laughs> I literally have five minutes. I'm just rocking a little bit to a little Anthony Hamilton. Feeling real good today. Excited about the things that God is doing, man. And so today I'm going to be talking to you about three ways to have a productive month. All right, three ways to have a productive month. If you will, go ahead and swipe and invite. Invite your followers. Share it on Facebook. Let people know that we're here. And so if you're new to my scope, my name is Carla Arcana, also known as the Trailblazer, here to get you unlocked, unleashed, and activated into your place of purpose from the pulpit to the marketplace. And so um, this is June the 1st, and I'm really excited about it. You need this scope? Awesome sauce. I'm really excited about it because... How many of you guys have found yourself distracted? You found yourself, you know, where you had to refocus, you had to get replenished, you had to be restored. Um, you find yourself uh, having so many ideas in your mind, but not sure which ones to implement first. You said, you know, and here's the deal. Oftentimes people, the reason why most of their goals don't become accomplished is because they have too many goals or too many things going on in their mind for a limited time frame. So today I want to just share briefly three ways to have a productive month. Really simple, nothing complex. A kindergartner could get it. So number one is you want to take time and get organized. You see my workspace. My workspace is conducive. I've created a working environment that is conducive to winning, for winning. So when I come in my workspace, I'm, I'm energized. I'm excited. I love what I see. I got my books. I have my, my brand is up here. I have pictures of my daughter and my family. So you want to get organized. How many of you guys have workspaces that are full of clutter? I don't care if you got a corner. I started out <laughs> with my office in my kitchen. My daughter was like, Mom, really? And then so I took it from the kitchen to the living room. And then <laughs> my, my office was overtaking my living room. I mean, I had my banner up and everything in my living room. It was not a game. And so then the Lord blessed me with a home. And now I have my own office space. The other people, I think they was using it for like a, a dining area. I was like, we don't need that. Put the table in the kitchen and this could be my office. And so you want to take time and get organized. That means organize your bills. That means organize your ideas. That means organize your workspace. Um, you need to know... Uh, even when it comes to financials, because a lot of us that are in ministry, we tend to want to name it, claim it. God going to do it. I shot I think he's going to spin around three times three times and it's gonna happen but you still have to set financial goals you know um one of the mistakes i made uh hey baby i got it sideways so i can't see like all of y'all <laughs> comments but i appreciate the love but here's the deal one of the mistakes i made i had all these things oh i want to write a book oh i want to do this oh i want to do that but i never stopped and asked how much money i want to make hmm what does financial freedom really look like for me you know what is what does success uh, really look like for me because here's the deal you can't allow other people to determine what success looks like uh, for for you because success for some may be oh when they become a millionaire um, a lot of people really can I tell you a secret a lot of you are already successful you just are constantly on to the next thing and you haven't paused to even celebrate your progress and so success to me is a state of mind you know success to me is peace of mind, meaning, you know, when you operate in that purpose, you're doing everything for God, for his glory, um, for his purpose, and you're not chasing dreams, but you're chasing God. Because in the midst of chasing him, he's going to make your dreams and your visions a reality. And then ultimately, we want to manifest that in which God has placed on the inside of us. Come on, stop playing, swipe and invite, let him know we're here. And so... You know, at the end of the day, you got to take time and get organized. There's no such thing. How many of y'all have said, I don't have time? I don't have time, Kyla. I don't have time. Well, you got to make time. I remember one of my clients, and I coach for, uh, from business to spiritual to ministry to various things. And one of my clients, I took her through my Fire Your Boss program. And then she went from my Fire Your Boss course to my Momentum course. And we're preparing to take her through Package Your Brilliance. Well, one of the things, one of her homework assignments was, I told her, before we do anything, I said, I want to see what your workspace looks like. So she sent me a picture. I said, there is absolutely, positively no way you're going to win in that workspace I said how do you feel when you sit in there she said I feel overwhelmed she had papers stacked up that needed to be filed. I said, how long you been putting that off? She said, Carla, it's been there like all year, really. I said, okay, why not just take two hours out your day and say today is the day 
I'm going to get organized. Today is the day I'm going to get this done. Why do we keep putting off for tomorrow what we can do today? Hello? I can't hear you. I'm going to look at you on my shave side. <laughs> You know, so you got to make a decision, number one, to take time and get organized. And when she cleaned out the clutter, watch this. Let me tell you how serious I am about my clients being successful. Yes, Lord, I need to be better organized. Let's get it done. You know what I'm saying? And so watch this. So she had an assignment. I said, before we do anything, you got to clean your workspace. So she hit me up and when it was time for our next session, she said, Coach C, I want to just go ahead and let you know she shot me a text. See, I, my clients, you know. A lot of them, not all of them, get my cell phone number. But, you know, she was able to text me. She's a VIP client, and she's out in Texas where I'll be June the 14th through the 17th at Queenology. You want to make sure you get registered at thefdtalk.com. It's going down. Going to be insane. Trailblazer speaking. Uh, Bishop R.C. Blakes. Do I got to keep going? It's going to be insane. Make sure you're there. But so she shot me a text message. Said, Coach C, uh, thank you all so much for sharing and swiping and inviting. She said, Coach C, um, I didn't get my office done. I didn't get it organized. I said, okay. I said, well, then we're not talking today. She said, what? I said, nah, we're not speaking today. I said, if you can't take what I give you serious. Now, mind you, all of my clients are older than me. Okay? All of my clients got more degrees than me. But at the end of the day, I'm the coach. They come to me for help. They don't come. They're not hiring a new best friend. They hiring a coach. Right? And I said, listen. I said, so today's session is going to be canceled. And we're not rescheduling. And I got your money. <laughs> We're not rescheduling until you clean your office up. Guess what? She was like, oh, my God, I'll take that virtual spanking. Can I tell you by that next session, she penciled herself in because guess what? She was so busy running, doing ministry. She was so busy. This one wanted her to go here and there to speak. But then the things that God had, now I'm not saying those things weren't kingdom assignment, but at the end of the day, there were certain things that she needed to do for herself, her as the person. When is the last time you took time to cater to you, the person? See, you have the trailblazer, which many love, but then there's Carla. That's a real person that lives inside of this image that many are infatuated with. And so I said, okay, I understand you profit. This. but you need to do this for and then I said her name and that resonated with her and she broke and she was like oh my god I didn't realize that me taking time to clean my office and get organized was actually a symbol a symbolization of me putting myself first when are you gonna put yourself first when are you gonna say I deserve it I know you may say your office space is not that big of a deal Carla oh you don't think so how long are you gonna let them clothes sit up there in the laundry room how long are you going to let them clothes pile up in your closet? Let me tell you something. You can tell a lot about a person by the way they keep the car, they car, how they keep their shoes. You don't believe it? You don't believe it? All right. Let's go. Number two. I ain't got time to teach that today. Number two. You want to establish one goal and rock out. Somebody say one goal. You want to establish one goal and you want to rock out. And let me tell you something. You, listen, we in a new, this is June. We at the end of the second quarter. Don't be saying you want to do you want to do 20 things. You want to write a book. You want to launch a business. You want to start your bakery. You want to do this. You want to get married. I mean, you got all these things. First of all, ask yourself, is it realistic with the time frame in which you are expecting to accomplish it? Some of y'all set yourself up for failure. You 175. You say you want to be 135 by the end of the week. It ain't going to happen. And if it do, you better get yourself together. <laughs> you better get yourself together. Because if you can lose that much weight in a week, that can't be healthy. So here's the deal. When we when we understand that, you know, we're human. I know Alicia got the song that says, I am a superwoman. I understand. But at the end of the day, Clark Kent still lived underneath Superman. You understand? So you got to take care of you as the person. So at the end of the day, when you have too many goals and your life is too chaotic, that tends to weigh on you as a person. You got to know that. Believe it. Hear me now. You got to make sure, thank you, you got to make sure that you are not setting yourself up for failure. I want you to ask yourself that question. With the, your daily activities, with your current mindset, with the, your current circle of friends, are you setting yourself up to win or to fail? I really want you to answer me. I'm going to pause. With your current mindset, right? Your current circle of friends. Come on. And I forgot what the third one was because that ain't in my notes. But are you setting yourself up to win or to lose? To fail or to succeed? Which one? What changes you need to make? Yeah, some of us got a clean house. Some of us need to make an attitude adjustment. Trying to do too much at one time. 
I understand that. So we got to just tackle, tackle one thing at a time. Even when it comes to my design team, right? I have so many things. Y'all got to think. I have a publishing company. I speak. I have books that I write that I'm going to share with y'all today how y'all can get them. I have Women of Standard, which is the ministry portion of who I am. Um, what else I got? Oh, my God. It is so many things. And so... I, even with my design team, I, I list out my projects according to level of priority. I tell them, okay, these are the top three things that we need to get done this month. And I say the first priority is this one. How long will it take you? Okay, it'll take us a week. Okay, bam. All right. No, actually, in 60 days, these are the top three priorities. And we do it in order of importance. Everything is not a priority. So you got to make a decision. You got to you gotta say, okay, what is this? Is this a priority? Can I tell you that everybody's emergency is not your emergency? The minute I learned that, I experienced freedom. You may have an emergency, but I have appointments. I'm not going to cancel my appointments because you have an emergency unless you my mama. Because <laughs> there was a time where, what time is it? I can never do five minutes to save my life. I'm going to still blame y'all. It's y'all fault. Um, but there was a time where I had appointments on my schedule. My mother, uh, kind of called my mother. She wasn't feeling well. I called my sister. I said, listen, cancel, reschedule all my appointments so that I got to go see about my mama. So you got to identify who, who's on your front row. You know, in the book, The Woman Code, Sophia Nelson talks about knowing your front row. Or my real, my sister, Real Talk Kim, talks about, you know, who goes in the balcony and who gets to sit on the porch. <laughs> right? And so some of you simply, uh, your whole life will change if you will change the people that you surround yourself with. Who do you talk to on a daily basis? You reading The Woman Code? That's an amazing book, right? Who do you talk to on a daily basis? What are you reading? I'm currently reading a book called Successful Women Speak Differently by one of my favorite authors I got to meet last year. Her name is Valerie Burton, Nine Habits That Build Confidence, Courage, and Influence. Right? So you want to establish one goal and rock out. The third one, the third way to have a productive month. Thank you all for swiping and inviting. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. The third one is you got to focus. Look at me. You see? <laughs> Y'all know I'm a clown. Look, watch this. You got to focus. Divided focus. Remember this. I want y'all to put this formula on the screen because I really needed to stick with you. Watch this. Divided focus equals no focus. Y'all heard me teach this before in my book called The Entrepreneur Blueprint. How to develop your darkest storms into a thriving business. I talk about, I have a whole chapter because multitasking is causing a lot of us to be delinquent with our goals, our dreams, and our success, right? And so I have a whole chapter. Chapter 5 talks about the danger of chasing more than one rabbit. How do you know which thing to focus on? That's good. How do you know what's focus on? What's, what's, like, which one keeps you up at night? Like, which one makes you the most excited? Which one can bring you in the most revenue with minimal effort? Like, you have to be able to, you got to weigh that thing out. Anytime you have an idea, you got to weigh it out and say, okay, you know, uh, like for me, women of standard, that's my baby. Like, I, I couldn't let women of standard go if I wanted to. You understand what I'm saying? So, women of standard is my baby. That's the premise to everything that I do. That's what kept me up at night. That's how we was able to do the newsletter, the magazine. So, you got to figure out which one you have a burning desire for and you got to go for it. So, there's a whole chapter in here, chapter 5, talking about the danger of chasing more than one rabbit. Because guess what? When you have such a divided focus and you're all over the place and, you know, on Monday you're focused on this and by Wednesday you're on to something else and on Thursday you done flipped the script to something totally different. Focus means follow one course until successful. All right, see you later. Follow one course, one follow one course until successful. And so understand that divided focus equals no focus. So again, three ways to ensure that you have a productive month. Number one is take time to get organized. Y'all, it's June the first, and if you haven't done your budget for June yet, you're behind. I know, but it's not too late. You got to make sure that you do your budget. This is for your personal bills as well as your business. Watch this. You got to do this before the new month comes in. But it's not too late if you got to do it today. So number one is take time to get organized. Number two, establish one goal and nail it. Establish one goal and rock out. Number three is focus. Focus. You know, get laser focus on what your kingdom assignment is. There are so many distractions. Distractions come in the form of people. 
distractions can also come in the form of things. So you have to be able to identify, you know, what it is you're supposed to be doing in this hour. And somebody asked the question, how do I know what I should be doing right now? You know, that's where prayer comes in. You, you, do, you do understand that Jesus' uh, secret to success was him going up into the secret place. See, I'm all about kingdom entrepreneurship because as a kingdom entrepreneur, prayer is our secret weapon. It's not our money in the bank. It's not our resources. It's not our connections. It's prayer because prayer can open doors for you that you weren't open. A prayer and favor, right, can open doors for you that you were unable to open for yourself. So while everybody else is going crazy sending Bishop Jakes their media kit, he's looking for the one who didn't send him the media kit where heaven, the intercessor, somebody released their name in a business meeting and, and, and you know, it didn't come from you submitting your information, your press kit, your media kit, your one sheet. Nah. Right? So that's how you're going to stay productive in 2017. That's how you're going to stay productive in the month of June. Okay? So I got to get ready to get out of here. I got a client at 1030. I will take one question before I get ready to go. While we're waiting on the question, listen, want to encourage you guys, go to CarlaCannon.com. If you like any of the information I shared today, it is found in this book, The Entrepreneur Blueprint. You actually can get all of my books. It's cheaper to just get the book bundle. Um, I have The Entrepreneur Blueprint, uh, a devotional that I wrote with my sister Sarah called Burn for Jesus. It's a 21 day devotional. If you're, it's a new month. If you're looking for a devotional, 21 days to reignite the fire in your prayer life, you want to get burned for Jesus. Also, if you want to be empowered on the go, get my book, A Trailblazer State of Mind. It says you may walk through the fire, but you won't be burned. The very first book I wrote to put me on the map, The Power and Waiting, has my story. Um, what do you do when what God said doesn't line up with what you see? It talks about understanding prophecy, embracing the process, discovering your purpose, learning how to be single. Y'all be wanting me to talk about this single and relationship stuff. I did that for like two, three years. I'm so over that. So if you still want some of that, go get the power in waiting. And then my other book, A Single Woman's Focus. These two go together, okay? So you can go to CarlaCannon.com, get the book bundle. Also for my ladies, I want you to go to CarlaCannon.com, get your Boss Women Slay shirt. We also have them in gold and silver okay so i didn't see any questions i gotta get ready to go and so you guys have an amazing day if this is your first time rocking out with me <laughs> um if this is your first time rocking out with me i appreciate it you guys can stay connected how do i go on your website for the conference oh thank you baby i have a conference coming up y'all i got so much going on uh october the 27th through the 29th we're bringing women of standard to atlanta we for the past five years we've hosted it in north carolina god said atlanta i said are you sure i didn't think it was jesus but it's him so we're coming to atlanta you go to do there you go whoever that is thank you baby that name look familiar. Parmalee 34. Is that Latoya? Yeah, WOSExperience.org. Early registration, early bird registration has begun. And so you want to bring your girlfriends. Thank you so much. Okay, hey Latoya. I thought that was you. Aren't you proud of me? I got it right. All right, so yeah, don't forget. Go to WOSExperience.org. Yeah, get registered for the conference. It's going to be amazing. Y'all have a great day. Love you so much. And remember, you got this. Take time to get organized, establish one goal, and focus. You got it? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day.